You can hear me, right? How's everyone doing today? Are we good? Sorry for the uh, sorry for the wait. Uh, life stuff happened, you know. Streaming from home and all that. This is what happens. So, uh, how's everyone doing? Um, let's just catch up with the chat. What's going on? Thank you for the gifted subs, Jeremiah. Much appreciated. Uh, I think there might be some more. I'm being a little bit slow. Anyway, we're going to produce. We're going to make music. We're going to do fun stuff. So, um, here was my plan. This is what I was thinking um, <clears throat> right before I came on stream because I haven't. I've been coming on these streams and just not had a um, too much of an idea of what I'm going to do. So today, there was this idea that I was working on um, with Gita. Well, mainly because I, I ride a lot with my wife, Gita. Um, but also, um, I can't work with any other songwriters because I can't go in the studio with anyone right now. So I've been doing quite a lot with her. And this is just like a really rough demo. And um, I don't know if you, I don't know if anyone was watching the stream last week, but I started this track that um, was sampling Diana Ross. And at the end of the stream, I said, I like where this is going, but I don't even know if I'll end up finishing it like this. Um, but I might take some of the parts and use them for something else. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Even though I like that idea, the thing that I liked the most about what I did was the rhythm, just the drums. So last night, just before I went to bed, I um, I took this old project. I'll show I'll show this all to you. I took this old project and then I imported the the drums and a couple of other bits from that project into this one. And they're actually they're going together pretty well. Um, and I'll, sh I'll show you how you can do all of this in Ableton. It's really really cool. Um, where you can drag in channels and tracks from from other projects just into into a, into another one. Um, I do that quite a lot, where I'll take drums from one thing and like a a synth section from another and put them together. Just see how see how um, see how the vibe goes. And sometimes it works. Some well, most times it doesn't, but sometimes it does. And and it, you know that's uh, a good way of working for me. So hmm. Anyway, how's the chat doing? How's everyone doing? Are we happy we're doing these production streams? Or would you rather be watching me be really, really bad at video games? I'm guessing the production. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been, I've been, uh, I have still been playing just as much video games. I just haven't been streaming it because I just, I had this <laughs> sneaky feeling everyone thought I was just a bit too shit. Um, but I will go. I will go back on and do it. I'm going to try something else as well. I've, I don't know if any any of you guys picked up on what I've been doing on the streams the last few weeks, but I never really liked using these headphones. I like I like using these for DJing. These are the um, I don't even know what they are. The Pioneers, the the Pioneer HDJ S7s. Fantastic for DJing. Love DJing with them. Um, not completely my cup of tea when it, when it comes to producing. But what I have been using um, for years now, because I use them when I'm on the road, are these um, Sennheisers, the the wireless ones, the PXC 550s. Um, I'm really, really good at leaving these in airports. I'm sure there's a couple of people that might even be on this stream that have inherited these because I've left them in an airport um, waiting lounge while I'm just like, and then I wake up. Oh shit! My flight's got my flight's going. I grab everything except the headphones and leave these on the seat. Um, but anyway, yeah, these are. I'm, I'm used to using these. Um, they, they've got like noise cancelling. They're not really very true, but um, I like them. I'm used to using them, so I'm going to try using these now. So um, anyway, let me tell you about what I'm looking to do. So, um, oh, and hello everyone, anyone that's new watching this. Welcome to the stream, you all right? How's it going? All right, let's see if, let me just check if I've got this set up. Preferences, I set up a new, not laptop speakers. 
Ah, I might have to restart my Ableton. Let me just move to this for a second. You still hear me? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me just restart this. Does, do a lot of you guys that are producers, do a lot of you um, use headphones then for uh, for production? Or I'm guessing it's got to be pretty popular. I normally either use the laptop speakers or um, my studio speakers, but I've barely been getting to the studio, so. Apple earbuds, are you kidding? Oh, that's heavy. That's straight up heavy. HD 25s are great. Yeah, I use the laptop speakers. Honestly, I think these laptop speakers on the MacBook Pros have been getting better and better every every year that they've um, every year they've updated them. I, 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 how old is this one? This is um, two years, and then I had one before that that would have been three years old. Um, I've been going through quite a lot of laptops. But yeah, honestly, the speakers just, they absolutely thump. And as a reference, there's there's a lot of things that on these laptop speakers that if you get right in the mix, um, they really translate really well onto, onto other speakers. So the thing that I like the most about it that I think is the most important range to get right in a track is like the... Like the upper harmonics of the low end and like the low mids it's re it's really it's like it's, these speakers are fantastic for for that range okay everything down below 100 yeah you know but there's things that you can learn you can you can kind of hear the way that like the speakers respond so that you can understand like what's going on in the deep sub and you know there's there's been a lot of tracks that I've ridden I've never listened to on speakers and I've played out in the club and it's worked. However, there's been a few times when I've done it and it hasn't worked. So go figure. Um, uh, why is my mini feed not keeping up to date? Yeah, it is risky, but you know what? If I play one bad song, I'll play an absolute thumper afterwards and everyone will love it doesn't matter um, okay but honestly like the last thing I'll say on headphones I, it's all personal preference you've just got to feel good about um, um, mini born yeah that's all I do I just mumble on about headphones it, you're your first time viewer it's, it's all you do come on and be a dick <laughs> oh no, this isn't going to work because these headphones. I'll use another one. They're out of charge. All right, let's keep going. Okay. So this is the track. Um, I'll play it from the top. This is what I did. Uh, I think this is like a couple of months ago. And this was, I did this like shortly after I made the Joselman edit. Um, so there was like, there's a bit of a, a similar kind of like low end sound to it, but I don't really want, there's a reason why I'm going to change that. I don't really want it to be so similar, but this is the idea that we wrote.
Anyway, that was the demo. That was a demo that I did like a couple of months ago. So I like that. It's really cool. Um, I could kind of finish it along those lines, but <clears throat> I kind of want it to be a bit. Um, uh, I'd like the I like the sub to be a little bit more prominent on the on the track. I think the the kick's really quite thumpy. Um, and I, anyway, I want to try and I have like this vision of. I just think it can go a little bit. Anyway, let me let me like play you what where I'm at right now with the track. Um, so for those that are struggling to follow, because this is a bit complicated. So I just played you the clip from what I made a couple of months ago. So that track is, um, I literally, I was making the beat. Um, my wife, Gita, heard it. She's like, I've got an idea, recorded it. I think I'm pretty positive she recorded that into a, an iPhone. Sent me the voice note. I threw that into the track, threw some auto tune on it. There's not even words on that idea. This is like, I mean, we've been talking about re-recording this for months and we've just not even got around to it. So maybe at some point during the stream, I'll ask her to, if she wants to recut it. Um, and yeah, you know, that's, that's where the, that's where the demo's at. But then last night I decided I wanted to try bring in a rhythm section from a track that I worked on the stream last week to see how it works. So like these were the drums. I, I, I just muted, there was a cowbell in there. I think that I knew did, and there was something else. But these were the rhythm. This is the rhythm that was just, just simple. Um, where's the kick as well? So this would be the kick and the bass, like the drums and the bass. I think. Let me just double check. So for me, that's really thumping. I think there's, um, I think there's a few things that I need to, to dive in on. I'm going to try and do on stream. Who knows if it's going to work? Maybe not. Maybe it will. Um, so the kick just feels way more rounder and subby and more substantial. I think it'll feel way better. That kind of kick's going to feel much better in um, small clubs uh, with with really tight, intimate sound systems. Uh, which excites me because I like playing those rooms and I like my records sounding good in those. Um, but on the other one, what was the kick that I was using? Was it this one? Was that the kick I was using? I literally don't know what kick I was using. I'll figure it out later. So anyway, I've got like a big cluster of sounds. I want to try and organize it and get it all, all sounding good. But then <clears throat> going into the vocal, I don't want to show you too much because if I take the auto tune off, it's probably going to sound pretty horrendous. But, um, but part of the sound of this vocal was just to get like a, um, just stick a really hard auto tune on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a, this is an iPhone voice note. Simple, right? It's just a demo vocal for me to build up the vibe on it. And um, I'm pretty lucky. I'm pretty lucky that I'm married to such a great artist. Um, but anyway, yeah, her name is Gita. Um, she has an artist project, uh, G-I-T-A-A. -A. I will put a link in, um, in the chat for her music. Anyway, she's epic, but she's, um, she was, she sang on, um, what did she sing on? Secrets in the Dark, Sundown. Um, what records have I done recently? I can't even remember the names of my songs. Um, stay, she did stay. Yeah, 
She's done loads of stuff. She's talented. Yeah, she produces as well. Um, not as much as me, but like she she produces. Um, oh yeah, she did Free Your Body. Um, Lies, Deception, Fantasy. She does everything. She's done a load of stuff on the anti-up stuff. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on the Feel Something remix as well. Um, so yeah, thank you very much Visuals by Dak uh, for the donation. Um, yeah, just drop a, drop a whisper to uh, one of the mods and um, you can take down your details. Thank you. Um, okay. Oh yeah, Concent anti-up concentrate. She's done loads of stuff. She's done loads of stuff. She's she's an unbelievable artist. She's got ideas for days. Like what the the problem is, I'd love to get her onto stream because like I'm I'm pretty good at the pr production stuff. You should see her at writing vocals. It is ridiculous. When she's in the zone, it is unbelievable. It's un I've ne I've never I've never written with someone like her. It's just crazy. So um, but once our uh, our home life gets a little bit more simple, then um. We'll maybe do that, but yeah, she's she she's also a ribbon DJ. She's uh, she does everything, you know. So yeah, there we go. So right, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna dive in. I just wanted to explain a little bit more than I've been doing lately. So then on the bass, uh, this what have we got here? So I think. This was the this is the bass sound that I was messing with last week. Let me put my MIDI keyboard in. How did we meet? We met on MySpace. I actually cancelled a stream last week because I got halfway through the day and realized it was our wedding anniversary. Our 13 year wedding anniversary. I'm not kidding. We both looked at each other and it was like, oh, Shit. I'm going to be streaming in half an hour. End of that one. They can wait. Okay, so the bass. Nice and deep. I think all the only change that I did last night was that I, I just put like a, I took the character, the, the, the all the frequencies here, if you see my mouse, uh, like the from from the mids up, so before it was like this. So I just took some of the tops off, and then the reason I did that was because there was a character base that I want to use for this track, which is which is this one. Why the oh there we go. So that bass is predominantly catering for all of the frequencies that you would hear on bad speakers, right? And the other bass is for those low rumbly, um, you know, the, the, the bass frequencies. You put them together and you just have, well, I, I, I say you have joy, but I barely, I haven't actually mixed this, so I don't even know if it fully works. Let's have a listen. does sound good. So that's kind of how, that's how I've built my base. Um, I'm 
So I think the only thing that I want to try and get, I want to see if I can get more of a, like a thump on the kick on the top without enough to, enough to give it a character. Um, but not, not enough where it just becomes like a big dominant doof, doof, doof. So this for me is like a really important part of the track. So like I might just sacrifice it and just, if I can't find someone right, I'll just run with the kick as it is. But I, I would, I probably, I spend quite a bit of time trying to get a nice top on this, which I probably, which would be like a, like a kind of distorted 909 kind of thing, a bit saturated or something. This isn't the same as, this isn't the same kick from the All Night Alone. And the, the kick from All Night Alone is, let me find it. I've got it here. It's gonna be embarrassing if it actually is the same kick, but it isn't. Uh, released 2020, Joe's on All Night Alone. Stems is the kick. I could take the top from that kick. That'd work. Just take the top end and layer it with them. Um, layer it with the one that I've got. So this is the this is the judgment. That's the kick. That's the kick for um, judgment. Yeah, so this is layered. Uh, so this was the main, this is the main kick. And then this was the layer. I'm just gonna take that layer. Try it. Someone, I just saw someone say uh, the phaser on the on the drums. I really like what this is doing. This is um, these are the drums here, the drum brute without. Then with. BD stands for bass drum, yeah. So um, 
I'll spend this. I'll spend a second cleaning this all up because this is an absolute mess right now. But <clears throat> what I normally do is uh, I'll have kick and bass at the top and drums. Then what do I do after that? Synths, vocal effects. That's the way. That's the way that I organize it. Then I'll color code each into a group. Um, and it makes a huge difference. So let me just quickly let me, uh, sort this BD top. What have I got on here? This is the car. Oh. That was the kick before. Oh, that was the top before. Maybe that'll work. Let me try that one. Yeah, kick space drum, same shit. Uh, seconds. Okay. So that's the main kick. So BD main. Maybe top, maybe top two drums. This is like a kit. Bass top. There's my bass there. What's this one? Drums, bass sub. <laughs> yes. Tighter than a duck's bum. Okay. Drums ride. What's this one? What's that one? I can get rid of that. Bin it off. Um, get rid of that. I should have done this before I came on stream. <laughs> this is a snare roll. Drums, snare roll. Simple. Vox, put that down the bottom. Oh, I 
get rid of this. I think this is like an additional clap. I don't even think I like it, but I'll keep it as an option. Drums clap. So an additional 909. What's this one? What will that be? Music, stab, stab. Um, have I got anything on this one? Get rid of that. This one. I don't know what that's doing. Should I keep that? Nah, I did it. At the door. Grab your coat. You've been kicked out. What's this one? Man, I use a lot of hats. RH2. What an absolute mess. What's this one? Bin it. What's this one? Beat loop. I like that. That's got to be near the top. Because that's doing a lot, that can go. What was this one again? Uh, what was this one again? That was a second organ. Get rid of that. And then this last one. Dog shit. This one's good. That shouldn't. There we go. There's a method to my madness. I know what I'm doing in my head.
think I can take all of that. I don't know what all this is doing, but I'll put that on the main kick there and the main base. Oh, what did I just do? I want to close down this group, so I'm just going to copy the, the plugins. Why is that not doing that? Okay. All right, put it onto the kick and then put it onto the base. And group. Okay, so I've got kick, top. <clears throat> Make them black, blue, all the drums, that light blue, music, I didn't name these, but go to red, box, pink, assign track color to group tracks. And suddenly got all more organized. There we go. make it's just there's there's some reverb going on on something so i'd like to make the drums a little bit tighter uh i just got to figure out where the verbs come from it's just from that so it says this is just a loop from um So loop from another track that I did that I like the top one. Is everyone following me or am I just talking absolute cod shit and everyone's just going like, eh. Good shit. All right. So I just took the, uh, I took that loop. Yeah. Follow me. Oh. oh. Yeah, I took that loop. I go down here into the preserve area. You can only do this when you're, I think when you're in beats mode. Um, preserve transient okay and then by default this box is on this one here you want to move it to this and this is by default will be by 100 okay so this is how the loop sounds on its own but if you pull this down now with these settings from 100 what it does is it, it creates like a gate a volume gate to make things tighter and it's triggered by these transient points there's one there, and there's one right at the beginning there, okay? So what's happening is, instead of like, it's just a quick way for me to um, create a gate to make things a little bit tighter if there's like a printed reverb on the, on the audio. So suddenly that reverb will kind of disappear. So open. Tighter. Mmm, tight, tight, tight. And you'll hear it now. Okay, but um, if I open that back up again to 100, listen to when I'll play it and then I'll open that back up 
and listen to how the reverb swamps the track. Not swamps it, but you can hear it. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, sugar. There we go. So with it. Hit the reverb. Now without. There's another clap in here that I need to address. And get this tighter. Claps sitting in any of the, these loops. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll just try to drag all of those other channels in into that master group with the, the flanger or the phaser or whatever and the and the compression. Let's just see if this sounds good. Interesting sound. Yep, and if I was a comedian, I'd be pissed take. Yeah, anyway, these vocals, they are scratch vocals. Um, I'll record them properly later. They haven't even got lyrics. So, but my wife did them. It's just a guide. Hello, 2000 of you. How you doing? You right? You're skiving off work? Looking at your 
fun. Dealing with customers. <laughs> Okay, so drums, let's just dive into just making them tighter. You know what, I actually think that kick is getting a bit in the way on that, this loop here. Let me try without it. Try this. Nocho 3, you sound like a really, really wholesome person. Camera will come and bite you in the ass, though. I hope. If you did that. See if she's free. I'm gonna see if I can get this cut. Hang on, I'll play this on loop for you. I haven't even told her that I'm working on this. She's probably gonna be like, I can't believe you're playing that demo on the stream. And I'll be like, tough. Drum. <laughs> That's encouraging. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, I like this one. And I like kind of what's happened on this. I, I kind of like this. 
And just thinking about a range wise, I, I kind of like what it's doing, how it's just this constant, like, um, beaten bass with vocal rolling along, cut out the bass, build up. I'm losing control, then moment again. And it's just literally eight bars, eight bars constantly rolling. But I just don't know whether it's going to be a bit, um, I'm kind of having a bit of a crisis of confidence because that's a bit, um, that might be a bit nauseating. It might be a bit much, you know, which is pretty much what it's doing right now. So what I mean by that is, what do you mean by that, Chris? Explain. Well, this is what I mean. Right, we have eight bars where the beat's in. La la You know, at the end of the day, I don't really care. It's just like, I guess the only difference is that I'm playing this on stream so people will remember it. Computer's hands. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, sir. This is an older version. I need to update this. Oh, yeah, man. Yes. One of our mods made this. How sick is that? But we've we've updated this, but I haven't actually got the um, I haven't got the the updated file for it. If I got that's all I needed to change. Helgen, don't give it to anyone yet. Got plans. I am going to make this available. I've just got to speak to Helgen about it first because he did a wonderful job of it. Is it 
this one. Oh. I fell for this. What was that plugin I was just using? Sound toys. Um, nah, let's stick another one on. idea of what I'll do range wise not too far of what I've done before but what can I use I want to try this native I, I've been liking these native instruments plugins which I'm sure a lot of you have probably picked up this is a good one um, oh what's it called the replica You get some pretty wild sounds on this. Stick a tail up on this. Bang, bang, bang. And just go, la, 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 that one. What did I pick? Relay. Let's turn up the feedback just to be sure. That was dog shit. You can do better, Chris. This is mostly a delay, isn't it? But Oh, 
Well, that's a bit much, isn't it? So I've been thinking about some of these streams that I've been doing. I've been realizing that I've pulled up this echo quite a lot. If you're running Ableton 10, you should really look into some of the features on this echo. I don't know all of them. I know the ones that I like using. Uh, um, I'm a stubborn old fart and I just go and do the things that I like doing. So um, there's, a couple, there's a couple of little tricks though that are really nice. Um, one of them is this get you have independence um, between the delay time of your left and your right delay response okay i don't know if i said that right but anyway um what i like doing is setting a time for the delays so they don't play at exactly the same time and it only has to be off by a little little bit and um what happens is if you have the delay times running at a different time on between the left and the right, you'll end up getting um, far more interesting stereo imaging um, because there's an offset between what's playing between the left and, and what's playing between the right. So because of that difference, um, it tricks the ear into feeling more width. It becomes more interesting. So literally just going, if you take if you took that, this one here, and just put like go up the first value, that will make all the difference. And I'll show you. I hope it works, or else I'm going to look stupid. Even more stupid than I already do. Um, let me put a delay on here. Let's solo that. Okay. You see, because I want a delay on here to capture the top end of this vocal, just to wash out of it. Okay, so that's just the echo. Now, if I if I put an offset to the delay time, there's two ways you can do this. But there's a percentage here. It's like a, it's just an offset, basically. I think that's yeah, delay offset. There we go. If I put that to 0 0.7, listen, if you're listening on good speakers, you'll hear the difference, okay? It's wider. So... It's really subtle, but it makes all the difference. I did. I didn't carry over those changes to that loop here, did I? Which one was it? Drum. That one. And 
that is missing the top kick. Cool. <laughs> Try someone on this clap as well. Oh, I like it, but it's almost like it's got a bit too much attack on it. Transient shaper. So this is the drum pad here. I'll just put it, I'll put the plug in directly on that. Bang. Actually, I can hear something going on the low end. This is my troubleshooting face. It's like I think it's literally that tail there. Bang. Right, is everyone following? What do you reckon? Do you think I'm just working on absolute nonsense here or should I just print this out and just send it? I think I might just ditch this song anyway.
I think I can probably get some more swing into some of these. Um, snares going on around this mm, drum rack. I think I've got a snares kit from the Wave Alchemy sounds. Wave Alchemy makes some of the best samples. I love them. They've been good to me. They've given me everything, so I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> Thank you, Wave Alchemy. I'm gonna see if I can get some like shuffles, shuffle side snares happening. I'm not very good at talking and do it. Like I'm not very good at doing two things at once. with like a tone to it, like a uh, Let me look into my folder of goodies that I've blocked for you not to see. So you don't copy everything. I'm on to you. One shots, melodic, no, not drum one shots. This is probably too shit, but I'll use it for the beginning.
hear the difference? Did you hear what just happened to the, the stereo imaging? If I do this without, straight, wide, it's tight. I don't think this is a very good idea what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try it anyway. Because you just never know. This sounds awful in here. Stereo it up. Ah. Let's print it. Might use it later on in the track. Never know. Flatten. Rename drums. Probably shit. Don't care. Put that down there. Maybe we need what's some of snappy like a trap kind of like like the trap snares that are used. I'll just try trap snare. Hopefully, I find one that doesn't sound like a trap snare. Sounds like a trap snare. They all sound like trap snares.
don't know. This one is labeled in my computer as best trap snare ever. That's dog shit. Everything's just dog shit. She just taking the delay on this. Just take. Actually, get rid of the original hit. Bin that off. Snares can be better. I'll get those snares way better. You never know, you just gotta try things and see if it works.
flip saved it well, welcome to the new followers the new streamers the, the new subscribers you all right how you doing i'm chris lake you probably guessed that by um the fact that the channel's my name <laughs> yeah nice joke dad I don't even know if I'm going to use this. I'm just going to carry on with the sand. So um, just try and shape it. It's giving me a couple of ideas. Just when I make a sound, it makes me think about how to use um, another sound to complement it. Sometimes that sound that complements it ends up being the sound that makes the track. Sometimes it doesn't. You just never know. You've just got to keep going until you feel like it's done. I don't feel like it's done yet. I'm going to keep going. You can watch me. Stop talking, Chris. No one cares. All right, let's get a clap. Let's get a drum machine clap. Like old sounding, horrible. I'm going to take this clap. Actually, that clap's all right, though. Without. I didn't plan on doing that. No, let's do that. Bang, J. Thanks for letting me know, Wicked Storm. dry 
No, no, keep it dry. I like that dry. It's nice. I mean, you know, I see what you guys are talking about. It's interesting. It's like I get um, I get the uh, I get that this is absolutely not for some people. Just, I mean, I think of plenty of things that I don't particularly like when I'm surfing the internet. But you've got to be a bit of a cock if you think you need to tell everyone about it. Fuck off. If you haven't got anything good to say, don't say it. Unless you're asked to say it, that's different. Oh, Cheyenne, what's going on? It's almost like the moderators are doing a good job or something. Like people are people are abiding by the rules. No, but I get it. I get it. Like these, you know, these streams are kind of like it's weird. You know, I, I guess I guess it's very it's very desirable to have a window into um, into. A production process right and I guess without seeing what the process actually is like it could be quite easily romanticized into it being an absolutely magical unbelievable marvel to witness but it's like <laughs> it can be really boring it can be really boring but this is the reality of production and anyone that does any production will know that it's not like you listen, especially in dance music, you listen over and over again to the most minute details. You know, and it's nuanced. It's nuanced. So, yeah, that's what I do all my life. All the time, looping, 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 looping. No, it's not boring. I mean, I, I love doing all this stuff. I'm just explaining, I'm just talking. And I appreciate everyone that's following. This is this is fun. This is like uh Is there is there anyone that's actually got into production since like the since the lockdowns happened? Is this like is there anyone on here that's watching this is this is like completely brand new to you guys? Cuz I'm kind of interested in this cuz I was just wondering if this has like created this wave of uh, of inspiration for people to get started in all this. Oh, nice to him. That's cool. Well, hi. That's great. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of you. Hang on. Oh, man. Bloods he's all about. Yeah, it's crazy to see those. Yeah, you know what? This is uh, what's it? Random Man in the Street. <sighs> of course, I get bored of listening to a track all the time. Um, it's it's difficult. It, you know, you you got to be quick. You got to be decisive. You just got to keep moving forward, or else you just stop. And it's um, uh, a lot of this is about momentum. So I need a break. My ears are battered. Um, and yeah, you know, you kind of like fight, you're fighting against your own. Um, your own tolerance, your own tolerance, guys. Let me just stick. Let me just play this a second. Um, Loz is calling me, and I, he's in a session working on someone. I want. I need to speak to him. Give me two seconds, mate. Hang on. I'm just going to mute the mic. I'm just on the stream. Hang on. Hang on.
<laughs> Sorry about that. Hang on. Um, let me just catch up. Um, that was Chris Lorenzo. We're working on. Um, we had a we had a session. We had a songwriting session for one of the tracks we're working on. So Chris was Chris was handling the recording because I can't go to studios at the moment. And he was just playing me what I thought, and it's ridiculous. And I can't wait for you to hear it. <laughs> so excited. We've got some. And honestly, we've been working on some unbelievable stuff. I'm not showing you any of it because it's all a surprise. Chris doesn't want me to stream any of it, so you're not getting to hear any of it. I've been working on it in secret. So yeah, and anyway, I'm, I'm super excited about it. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, uh, I'm just reading what you guys have been saying about. Okay, there's a lot of you that just got into production then. It's great seeing you guys that are watching that don't speak English either, or don't speak a lot of English. That's amazing. Because I do speak a lot of shit. Honestly, if you speak English, I don't really make that much sense. So, Have, have there been other producers that have been doing good streams then? Like, I, mean, I haven't been paying too much attention. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, listen, Twitch is a great platform, and I, I don't, I don't even know if musicians like messed with it before. I'm actually going through all of this. I'm just taking this opportunity to have a little bit of a break for my ears. Yeah, Daniel PH, uh, Daniel PD Heath. Yeah, I um, I go on it quite often. Yeah, so like this is a big part for me. I I do want to continue doing this. This is like I want to I want to try and I'm trying to find a balance so that I can like the whole plan for me with this streaming is, and there's been people that have been watching me streaming right from the beginning, just a few, you know a few months ago. I didn't advertise it. Didn't want to make a big deal out of it because I was worried about what I was doing. I'm not, I've, I don't come from a streaming background. It's hard. This this streamer stuff's hard. I've been shocked at how difficult it's been to get all of this running smoothly. And the most important thing for me is that this streaming, like this, doesn't get in the way. I want to create. This is not like, um, I'm, I'm not, uh, how do I put this? I'm not desperate for attention. I'm not desperate for money. I want this to be um, informative, enjoyable, um, but not get in the way of me creating. And this helps actually. I like the way the way that I've got this now. I'm enjoying this. Those demo streams. There's great demos coming through. I'm excited. I know. I know that there's going to be people found through that stuff. Uh, and this production stuff. This is good. This like I've always loved producing with an audience. It's fun. And, um, you know, it's like having a, it's like creating a vibe in the room. So, uh, just catching up. Oh my God. There's so much chat here. Yeah. I saw, actually, I saw, I saw a couple of minutes of disclosure. I've, I've seen like a minute of waxy. Uh, I haven't seen anyone else. I know that I know the jaws was doing it. That's really cool. Uh, I mean, Skrillex is the Don. I've been in the studio with Skrillex. It's silly. It's just silly. That's not even normal. He's not normal. Um, great question. How do I stay motivated to produce music without any festivals or club events coming up? I just enjoy creating. I am an absolutely miserable bastard if I'm not creating. So I'm always making music. Why not use your monitors only instead of using headphones? Um, because... I haven't been to my studio in months. My house is being built and I'm in a temporary accommodation. If you saw this room and you saw where I was working, you'd laugh. I always use it, by the way, and I always use this page on Ableton. I never use this shit. Um, as in for uh, production, I use it for mixing. That's it. Uh, what else? I don't know if anyone. I don't. I don't know how many people are streaming like me, but I ain't normal. 
So I didn't give a shit about you guys watching. This is great fun. You know? All right. Chris, what Linux distro are you using? I've got no idea what you mean. I literally have no idea. Yeah. Okay. And someone just asked, how do you use that page? Great question. I don't know. This is a Mac. Yeah, this is Mac. Okay, right, let's get back to this. Actually, I need to listen to the old demo, see what was good about that. What was good about that version? Hang on, I've got a couple of different versions. That's the original one. That's the old demo clip. I don't want all of these hats on um, in, the, in the phaser group. That one needs to come out. to get like a bit of a, a subtle pad or effect in this, this section when the when the bass is cut out it's going to just like make it a little bit feel like set into a bit of a deeper emotion so that when it snaps back in without it it just feels a bit harder just got to find the right sound What should I use? Um, let's use some of that Arteria stuff. I never use it. I bought it. I never use it. I should save this. Hold on a second. Do this while I'm saving. Let's try this analog laugh thing. I've got no idea about the YouTube tutorials that would be good for you because um, I don't really look at them because I know what I'm doing. He says, <laughs> but he doesn't. Um... How do I choose type? What a pad. I guess I could just go by style. So let's go. Then. Beautiful, beautiful um, 
spread on that for this the time stretching with MIDI. This would be interesting. Let's see if I can use this technique. This would be sick if I could. Shift. Fuck it. Uh, that sucks. Okay. So how many steps are there? This might be a bit robotic, but like, do you Lovely.
Um, waves, CLA to A. sentence. I, I just barely even use this thing. It's got to be in here, right? The delay settings. I'm probably going down the rabbit hole here.
Bad producer. Bad, bad producer. Sorry. That was horrendous.
really boring, but I'm just really trying to get this transition. Trying to get this transition to behave the way that I want It's going to be sick. Right, I'm going to save this and then flatten it. I'm probably going to regret flattening this one, but whatever. Flatten it. By the way, I'm I'm all for you guys giving ideas. It's great. I love it. Crack on. Let's do this. Um, there we go. But I am I'm fully in the zone right now, so I'm probably not going to talk too much. Great question. Chris, question, when do you know you want to commit a MIDI part to audio? When do you know your tweaking is done? You don't, but it's like, um, it took me years. I, I, I just, I, I spent so long, I was just like, okay, I'll keep that there. I'll keep all of this multitude of plugins there is uh, because I might want to come back and I might want to tweak it. Um, but then you just end up cluttering yourself with too much choice, um, too much like nonsense. So what I do is I, um, I actually, I don't do it as much as I, I should do on stream, but I do it all the time when I'm off stream. I um, save multiple versions of the track, like sporadically all the way through. So while I'm making something, if I made something key, I'll save it, freeze it, and then the next time I save, I'll save it as another project. I can always go back. I can always find at some point something that I've made. But, but if it feels good, print it. Stick it to audio. Freeze up the processing on the computer. It takes away that kind of that thing in the back of your mind where you're like, oh, I'm not really finished with that. I might still work on it. Forget it. Forget that. Commit. This sounds good. I'll run with it. Or, or it's not good enough. 
just like just reduce the amount of choices that you need to make. Have you ever gone to that restaurant where it's like 300 items on the menu and you're sat there and you're like, oh, bolognese, oh, oh garlic bread. Oh, oh, oh my God, lasagna. I hope it's as good as my grandma's, you know? Oh God, I'm sat, like, what am I gonna choose? What am I gonna choose? I just don't know what to do. Whereas if you had a sat down and you saw the bolognese right from the beginning and you're like, I'm having it. That's it. I'm having the bolognese. I'm happy. You close the monstrous Bible of a menu. You put it down and you're happy. You've moved forward and you haven't cluttered your head with a load of bullshit choices. That's it. That is it. I wonder if anyone's just listening to me thinking, what an absolute dickhead. And if you are, you're correct. But I do have some good advice in there. So you maybe should listen. Oh, another tip. Automate your volume changes on anything other than your master channel, your channel that you're working on. You see how I'm going to the gain on the last track of the channel, uh, on that channel, the gain of the EQ. I'm going to put a volume automation on this. All right. And the reason I'm doing that is I always keep these channels free. Why, you say? I'll tell you. The reason I do that is because. Let's just say everything's getting a little bit hot on the master. All right, everything's going in. It's all getting a bit distorted. Well, it's easy. I just go select all, turn them down. Everything goes down. Now, if you've got automation on it, um, just turn it down, but then the automation won't get turned down with it. So um, you're screwed. So that's why I don't ever automate on um, on the channel. You're welcome. That one's for free. But yeah, I saw someone else put um, put this in there. Utility is good for this. So automate with the, automate with the utility. So let me just do that again. Let me do that slowly for the people in the back. I will speak up. You put in a utility on the channel. Voila. Utility is on the channel. We're looking at the gain. It's the gain that you want to mess with. You right click it. You go show automation. On the channel, that automation lane comes up. Put a point in. Put a point in, put another point in, bring that down. Amazing. Fade out. Electric's doing absolutely jack shit, isn't it? I just realized that. Oh, okay, maybe not. Let's stick that on a couple more things. Just to be really naughty. I'm not, I try not to group that much. Um, I feel like grouping can restrict you a little bit unless you really need it. Oof. 
I like it. Boom, boom. Should I use today? I'll just, I'll just take the top out of it. that the uh, volume output. Ooh, yes. Oh, that was only doing that because it was overloading the channel. It's kind of interesting. I'll just keep it. Messing here, messing, 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 messing up. Of course, the obligatory.
sick actually. Let me just duplicate that. That needs to be longer. <laughs>
you following me? <laughs> It's fully in the zone here. Trying something.
going to break down here, not that. trying to think what to do picturing it in my head it's not coming <sighs> mamma mia oh thank you very much for the gifted subs fruity wizard very very kind flexis bds subscription beatline thank you for the donation you can get a criticism but it'll be next week on the demo stream Thank you. It's just got to feel fresh when it comes back in. So I probably just got to probably create a new moment. I don't know. Fuck. I just want to get lazy. fun though uh i've got no idea now i literally i've just just decided to start working on this okay so for those of you that weren't following um this is something i started a couple of months ago i started with my wife the wife my wife is um gita she is on the vocal there's no words to it that's why you can't understand the word she's saying and um the vocal was recorded with an iPhone. Super high quality. Um, we we'll probably need to recut it. Even though it's got a vibe, I could probably just go down the route of just like having a mumbling old, like 
um, you know, lo-fi, badly recorded um, vocal. It, you know, it's got a vibe. Uh, I probably want to flesh it out a little bit more, but I don't know. It's just, just writing, right? And it's nice to uh, let you guys in on it. I need to go for, I've got a meeting in four minutes, so, and I need to bounce on this. And I need to eat. I'm hungry! Guys, thank you so much. I think it's been a great stream. I've really enjoyed, I really enjoyed this. Thank you for being so nice, kind. Thank you for sending in your ideas, your um, your positive vibes, and um, making this music making process enjoyable. It's enjoyable anyway, but enjoyable letting you watch me waffle on. If you haven't subscribed, you don't have to. I don't give a shit. If you want to, it's great. It makes me happy and makes me just a little bit more wealthy. So thank you very much. And um, thank you to all of your support. Much appreciated. Who are we going to raid? You want me to raid? You want me to raid someone? Waxy's on, is he? There is someone I actually want to raid. Let me just, like, I, I, let me just see if he's on right now. Two seconds. It's my boy. Like, don't get me wrong. Waxy's my boy, but like, he's got followers. There's a producer that, yeah, let me just check on here, see if he's online. If he is, let's go check him out. I can't remember his... Hang on, let me find out what it is. One moment, I'll probably have lost all of you before this happens, but... Um... Where is he? Got it. He's offline. End of that one. All right, we'll go raid Waxy. So for the for those of you that don't know, Wax Motif is just another one of me, sweaty DJ, producer. Um, Great guy, much better gamer, much better streamer, to be honest with you. Um, and um, he's my friend. Say hi to him, show him some love. We're raiding. All right. Thank you, guys. Peace. Are we in? Right now. Hey. Okay. 